Nika, Hayley, did you ever imagine you'd be sharing uh, the honours tonight? Definitely not. Um, I knew that she'd be up there, so I'll, I'm just pretty honoured to be standing next to her right now, especially after she was able to back up last year's performance. Yep. And your teammates for now, but uh, obviously next year it's going to be quite different with the West Coast coming into the club. No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, we obviously we're always we're, we're great mates, so it'll be it'll be good fun to, to go up against each other and hopefully both playing in in the first ever derby. So it'll be really exciting. You guys spend a lot of time in the, in the midfield together. Do you have a, a good chemistry on the field? I like to think so. Um, it also helps as a rucker when you've got someone like Hayley to tap it down to, so it's definitely a great go-to for me and I actually think I get caught ball watching because when she takes that ball out of the pack, it's pretty hard to stop. And you guys have dominated the individual awards tonight. You've got the leading goal kicker as well and, and the rookie of the year. Um, how's the season as a whole been? Obviously you're not in premiers, but things did go to plan in the finals. I guess it, it was pretty disappointing and I think it's still sort of sinking in what is for myself, just the success that we had all, the whole year and then I guess it, it doesn't help when sometimes your team selections, you don't now get a get a say in it with, with the AFL clubs coming in and unfortunately that probably um, didn't help us in the end but we had a really great season up until sort of the last two weeks and I'm really proud of what our girls were able to achieve and hopefully we just go one better next year. So just make an unfinished business for, for next season, yeah? Okay. And yourself, a lot, a lot's changed in the last 12 months, I guess. It's a whole new competition now, but uh, you're a, you're a two-time winner now, Hayley. Yeah, you know, it's crazy to think. Um, I didn't, look, a couple of years ago, I was watching other girls come up here, like um, Kiara Bowers, and look, I just always idolised her so much, and I never really thought I'd ever get here, and then to, to now win two um, in a row is pretty big. I, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty shocked, to be honest. How did last season compare to this season? Did you feel like you played better this year or last year or was it hard to kind of um, I guess it's hard to compare between seasons because the two seasons, I guess, everyone's sort of stepped up that level as well. So I think everyone's really been quite impressive. There's been so many, and I think the vote count probably shows that with across the board. There's been, there was a lot. Of, there was basically a low. It was a low vote count, showing that everyone everyone was really putting their hand up for the award. And you guys are stealing votes off each other all night, really. You, you made your you going to sort of the middle middle rounds, didn't you? Well, I snuck in before Haley started playing in those first two rounds. <laughs> Um, look, it was always going to happen and that's just like we said, it's the level of the club and where they're at. So. How was the season as a whole, obviously it's the first season of the of the Waffle W and you know, the AFLW is expanding every year, it must be a really exciting time for sport. It is and I I see the growth as well like within my profession and the amount of young girls that to pick the footy up now to have a kick around with their friends. It's it's really nice to see from that, you know, under 12s all the way through. And the season this year was so competitive. If you didn't rock up for four quarters of footy, you weren't going to win. So how do you think West Coast are going to go next year in, in their first year? It must be exciting, uh, you know, building that squad and, and being a part of it. Absolutely. I, I can't wait to get started. We've kind of been going on and off throughout the year already. So, um... But we've got a great culture that we've already developed. Um, the group's come together well. We've got a few more picks to get up in the draft next month. So we really just can't wait to hit the ground running and see how we size up against the other players. And any teammates you'd like to give a wrap for a potential AFLW draft squad? Ooh. I think well, our leading goal kicker, Tani Tess, I think she probably deserves at least a, a look in for, for being the leading goal kicker of the competition. It's a pretty massive achievement. So I think, look, she deserves at least at least to have it, have that opportunity. Um, so well, I'm hoping that she does. She's been a hell of a recruit, hasn't she, um, coming over from South Rio? Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about Tani is she's so great on and off the field. She's just an awesome character. She basically felt like she'd been part of the club for years. So I'm really happy that she was rewarded tonight for her hard work. And who are your tips for this weekend in the in the big grand final? Ali? Um, I look. I think Swan District is going to run away with it. Um, they were just so dominant on the weekend. I know East Rio were too, but I think if if Swans get that run on um, like they do so well, they'll just they'll just break the team open. I'm going to agree with Haley on this one. I would say Swan Districts.